Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to look at, as you're getting older, can you hit it longer? Well the answer to this question is yes. I want you to follow these steps that we've got today with the hula hoop and understanding how you create a bigger ring around in your swing, less standing up to create a lot more power. It's really simple, make sure you follow these steps, let's jump into the video. So. You're going to need to set up one of these. Well, you don't necessarily need to, but this is really going to help me explain exactly what I've done. So, what I've got here is just a cheap hula hoop and <laughs> very uh, snazzily use some duct tape to attach an old club shaft to it. If you've got sort of this around or you want to buy one of these, I would definitely recommend it. It helps you, but you don't necessarily need to do that. If you don't have one of these, what you can do is, is do the exact same motion that I'm going to talk about here by getting into goal posture, throwing your palms up, and work the drill through the same space right here. This will all become apparent as we go through the drill. But for you, it's going to be a lot easier for you to see this. So I'm going to take just a normal grip of my golf club. And obviously, over the years, we're probably not keeping tabs on our grip, we're not keeping control of what our fingers are doing and where the club is in our hands. So, quick reminder here, club into the fingers, my thumb just down the right hand side, there's a, a, a right-handed player, left-handed player, simply the opposite way around, into the fingers, and I actually go with a little bit of an interlock. It'd be interesting to actually know, what do you do in your grip? Are you interlock, are you overlap? Put in those comments down below. So, once I've done this, I'm gonna place this hula hoop around me. Now, what I think a lot of people do as they get older, we get a little bit tighter, we get a little bit less flexible, so we tend to complete our backswing by leveling out these, this hoop. So basically standing up in this backswing. So in the downswing, this looks like a very steep motion to get back to the golf ball, or a standing up, to get back to the golf ball, both sacrificing power and sacrificing that number that we've spoken about in here before, smash factor. So how efficient can you be? Because I want you to look at this in two options today is improving swing mechanics, help create a little bit more width, a little bit more speed and hopefully a little bit more turn, but also that's gonna help me improve my smash factor. So I'll get a little bit more bang for my buck and not necessarily have to work as hard. We all want a little cheat like that, don't we? We all want a little bit of a cheat like that. So grabbing that in here, we now know what we don't want to have happen. Standing up, standing up, leveling out this hoop. So what do we want to happen? First off, let's show you from the face on perspective. So I want you to look at it like this. I want you to, if you can, grab this hoop. If you can't, remember, do it with your palms up, do the exact same motion. I want you to make a back swing now, trying to feel as though your left arm stays not locked out, but as far away from the middle of your chest as you can. And just make some practice swings doing this. Your main focus right now is just to move the upper body more than the lower body and cry, trying to almost train yourself to create a little bit of a stretch between the upper and lower and work on that width of the arc. Not too bothered about the direction of the hoop just yet, more on the width of the arc. So now from the down the line perspective, we know we want to keep this left arm straight, that's our main focus. Grabbing this again, can we feel this hoop on the backswing, on the downswing, is working around us? It's working around us. It's constantly working in the same space. It's not leveling, coming over, it's not leveling out this way. We're trying to be as efficient as we can. We're trying to feel as though we can keep it working around and around. So the first stage is if you've got one of these, cracking, we'll keep doing this, is just to first you understand how can we just get the upper body moving more than the lower body? Because that creates the X factor stretch. Now, no matter if you're really flexible, no matter if you're not flexible at all, do this to the best of your ability because if you can learn to do this, Think about it this way, it's like an elastic band, it's your way of creating a little bit more tension, more tension, a little bit more fizz through the golf ball. It's all relevant to you. So over this now, I'm just concentrating on my upper half here, width, upper half moving, moving this as I go around my body on plane. Not steep and lifted, not flat, and not standing up. I then want you to feel that you make one, two, Three, I'm now gonna to start to introduce a little bit of hip turn. 
So hip turn now, look how this really aids my rotation, okay? So watch this right now. My hands can only go really here, adding my hips, I can get a little bit more of a fuller turn to the top. So the two aspects I want you to get away from this is, swinging this golf club on plane, or a little bit closer to plane without actually having to think about it, is make sure the hula hoop works on that incline around the body. Second point, the width. Both these points I want you to think about add up to more speed and hopefully more chance of you hitting it out the middle, okay? More chance of hitting the middle, you can actually get a bigger bang for your buck on hitting it further. So that's smash factor number, which is a combination of your club head speed and your ball speed, how efficient you are, is a really overlooked area. So I mentioned to you, if you've not got a hula hoop like that, how can you best do this? Well, grab yourself just an alignment stick. I mentioned getting into this position, but what I want to do is exactly like this. Left arm on top, right hand like so. So I've got a little bit of a bend in my right arm. That's how I set up for a right hander. A left hander, I would do just simply the opposite and work it the opposite way around. I want you to just simply go through that same process of firstly, can I feel, I keep that left arm a little bit straighter, not bending in this aspect. Second off, can I feel as though I work this club more around the body, just separating the upper from the lower. Then the final point is, can I bring this into adding a little bit of hip turn back and through, back and through back and through. And it's amazing, if you just put yourself on video and just recorded yourself with this, that's why I would definitely recommend the big investment of 399 and some duct tape and an old club shaft, because it helps work on grip, helps work on swing plane, and it actually helps give you a good understanding of how do I move the arms and the body all together. Straight away, if I'm just moving my arms, I can clearly see the hoops getting closer to me. That's not what we're after. We're after arms and the body working together. Let's take them away now, and let's just pick out some good points that I think you can now take into your game to allow you to take this to the golf course, because at the end of the day, that is what we're all looking to do. We wanna be good in here, we wanna be good on the range, because it makes us feel confident about our game. But it's that holy grail answer. How do I feel all this stuff and bring that into my pre-shot routine? Very, very simply. So remember we did what we did with the alignment stick here was left hand this way, right hand this way. Okay? Left handed, just simply the opposite way around. Okay, what I do is, it's my turn to go now. My tee's in the ground. I'm out on the golf course. One, two, both those factors. It's fresh in my mind, fresh feelings. And I've spoken to a lot of people, especially Ross, if you're watching here, and he's on one of my online lesson programs, and he was like, well, Alex, I have to over-exaggerate feelings in my golf swing just to get it somewhere or even close to where I'm at. Get it close to where you're at, you can see some real good improvements out on the golf course. So exaggerate it in your pre-shot routine. It's fresh, it's current. I'm over the golf ball. I'm gonna waggle it, feel that width. Hit that ball away. Hopefully see it sail a lot longer, a lot straighter down that fairway. So, in summary, to answer our question, can we hit it longer as we get older? Yes. Follow these steps, either use the ring, use the alignment stick, take it to the golf course, and you can access more yards.